Today we're talking about PB4 indexer drive. I'm using a 230 volts AC single phase or three phase drive. This drive also comes in single phase at 120 volts AC. The motor I'll be using is a PBM603 FXK20. I have a step up 220 volts transformer. I have the main input power connector and I have a Moxa USB to serial adapter. CN4 is for your main input power, either single phase or three phase. CN3 is for your motor power connector. CN2 is for your motor encoder connector. CN1 is for your input and output. CN5 and CN6 is for your communication cable and or if you daisy chain this drive. If you need any help with the wiring diagrams of main input power or input and output or the communication cable, uh, please click the link in the description which will um, show you all the wire diagrams you need to use this drive properly. Once you are done with the wiring, you could connect your main input power, your motor power connector, and your motor encoder connector. Once you have done that, you could initialize the drive. After initializing, you should be able to see a zero and a rotating zero on the drive. That means you're ready to go into the software and run the motor. I will show you that in the next step. Once you have initiated the drive, you could double click model number PB setup. You, you can find this software on our website and I will also have a link in the description below where you'll be able to download the software. Once you double click, this pop-up screen will appear. Um, it will tell you to select your amp type. I'm using a PB4A002R30. And then your motor type, I'm using a PBM603. Then you click online. Next, it will ask you to select your address, your communication port number, and your communication speed. Uh, address is usually zero. Your communication port number may vary depending on where you have connected your communication cable to your PC or laptop. You can check this on the device manager in your settings and your communication speed should be set to the fastest possible. Then you click next. Here the, the drive is loading. Once the drive is loading, this is your main screen here. Under direct, we have uh, different tabs for your parameters. You have system, IO port, um, move, command, adjust, ROM, direct. Under system, you could change uh, your electronic gear, your current limit, your software limit, um, many more on the IO port you could change zones 1 through 4 uh, your bit out your imposition width your select so this uh, select is if you have either your point or your program selected this is where you change that parameter your input and output port logic and your input and output port functions this is very important once you are done with your indexing programs this is where you would um, s s select what each input and what each output uh, does accordingly and then you that's where you change that uh, first things first under point uh, we want to check if the motor is working properly so here on this these arrows here uh, you have your positive jog and then you have your negative jog so if you kick positive jog your motor should start rotating clockwise as you will see uh, you click jog stop and your motor will stop and then you could click negative jog and your, your motor should rotate to a negative direction this is the easiest way to um, see if your motor is working properly so then you click jog stop um, but if you do not know your indexing conditions yet I would suggest you use um, point to um, find values and or um, see what what your indexing condition should be because it is loads much faster than under um, your program tab since your program tab does load all 32 programs so I will show you how to do a simple um, indexing moves in point so under move you can select relative drive 2. Uh, here you input your values, um, your ex velocity, your acceleration, deceleration, your relative travel distance, your pulse count. I'm going to set it to 10,000. Uh, your push current limit and your positioning window. Then you click set. Then you click here PC to amp. And then it will load it to your drive. And you highlight the line. You click start. And you should see the movement done. That's one way. Or you could do an absolute movement as well. So under move again. Uh, absolute drive 2. 
and then you input your values one more time but instead of doing a pulse count this is your absolute position so this is the encoder position here so i'm gonna set it actually to go back to zero um and, and you guys will see that it'll go back to position zero of the encoder and once you're ready pc to amp then that will load it highlight the line click start you guys will see that my motor moved back to position zero of the encoder so once you are ready and once you are done uh, you know your indexing conditions you are ready to move on to your program so under program here you could um, make up to 32 programs uh, you could either make individually and load them or you could make all of them and load them at the same time I'll recommend uh, you do a few lines you would load it on just to be on the safe side you don't want to lose your which your progress so this index in the indexing program is a simple indexing forward and indexing back so um, it's gonna go to a position and then go back to zero so highlight the first line under move uh, select relative drive two. Uh, input your conditions um, I'm gonna set it to 10,000 pulse count uh, push current limit and then your positioning window click set uh, second line under control we select in position jump so we're gonna set it true set it back to one so in position jump is a uh, specifies a jump condition according to the movement um, completion uh, next line uh, we're gonna set a timer under control timer wait uh, this is a milliseconds so we'll set it to 1000 that's one second wait and the last movement under move absolute drive two. set your conditions and I'm gonna set it back to zero so I could go back to position zero Let's click set and then once you're done doing the program you select PC to amp as you guys will see this would takes this does take a little bit longer than your point so like I said um, I would suggest you find your conditions first then you go into the programming because it does take a little longer and every time you make a change you have to load it onto the drive again so once you're ready uh, you highlight the first line and you click start you guys will see that it made the movement forward and then it went back to zero one more time And that is how you do a simple indexing program on a Sanyo Denki PB4 indexing drive.